All right, this is Tamara for Women in Tooth Magazine. And today I have Sharika G online with us. She is the owner and CEO of She Hustles. Um, and she's going to just talk to us a little bit about what she does and her brand and her concept. Um, welcome, Sharika. Hello, how are you? <laughs> doing pretty good in yourself. I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much for asking. So tell us a little bit about, um, I mean, because we're in the day and age of the hashtag. Like, everything is hashtag. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about hashtag hustle queen. Hashtag hustle queen. It actually originated from something totally different, actually. It's kind of like the She Hustles brand. It's kind of taking on a life of its own, so to speak. Um Nowadays, I, I, I'll see there's a day and time to where there's not enough of female empowerment out in the community, whether it's social media or whether it's just in everyday life. So um, I decided to start a Facebook page by the name of the Hustles and Heels Society. It actually started out as um, the Hustles and Heels, um, and it's kind of promoting female empowerment. Um, the original design was made to be multicolored, just saying that, we as women are so diverse, whether it's in race, whether it's in economic status, whether it's in um, our job titles and ranks. And it's just saying initially that although we are so different, we are yet still the same. We have the same issues, the same concerns. Um, we have the same loves, most of the time the same dislikes. So it originally started from all of that, and then it kind of transitioned to the Hustles and Heels Society, just my version of us being a sisterhood, so to speak. Not to have it confused with um, any type of Greek organization or anything like that, but just saying that we in, as women in general are our own sisterhood, so to speak. Um, so that's where the Hustles and Heels Society came from. So Hustle Queen and Hustlers and Heels are just two designs um, from the brand. So it's kind of like made its own transitions over the last couple of months. Hence, now we have She Hustles. So that's kind of where it came from. Okay. And tell us, just give us a little background on just yourself and some of the things that encouraged you to start She Hustles. Me, myself, I am somewhat of a free spirit. I guess people would say that about me. I'm the type of person to where no matter how bad a situation is, I'm going to find the good someplace within that um, because that's kind of what keeps me motivated. Um, I've noticed with the Facebook page that it may just be something as simple as us just getting up every morning just saying, you know, girls, put your best foot forward, go out and take on the world. So we're just pretty much just trying to encourage one another, um, and that's kind of like my mindset for She Hustles. It's saying that whatever your hustle may be, she hustles. So whether you're at McDonald's, she hustles. Whether you're um, a corporate CEO, she hustles. So whatever your hustle is, because it's never to, to make anybody feel like your hustle is less than anybody else's. You just have to find whatever your hustle is and, and hustle to the best of your ability. Um, so that's kind of like the mindset. And I always kind of make sure within the group, that we always know that regardless of whether I'm having an interview tonight with you, um, with Women in Shoe Magazine, or whether my girlfriend is going to pull 12, 12 hours in a manufacturing company, that at the end of the day, no one female is above the other. We're all equals, no matter what we may do, no matter what our job titles may be, no matter what our educational levels may be. You know, we all have to keep each other uplifted, and in that, we'll continue to grow, grow and continue to um, meet certain levels ourselves, just within that pulling up of our fellow sisters, so to speak. I love that concept because um, I was just talking to a close girlfriend of mine tonight, and I was saying how, you know, I feel blessed mm -hmm. that I have such um, empowering and, and motivating friends. I mean, these are yes. friends who might as well be family because we've known exactly. each other since we were like single-digit ages and stuff like oh. that. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, and I said – I, I've actually met women who are like, oh, I don't have any female girlfriends. Women are so catty. Women are not supportive. Mm -hmm. And my challenge to them is always to look at the kind of friend they are and, you know, mm -hmm. say, are you supportive of other people? Are you exactly. motivational to other people? Are you the type of person that you would want, you know, 
um, that you're requiring of other people. So exactly. it's nice to see more of these female empowerment groups and mm-hmm. forums popping up everywhere exactly. where people can feel safe. Exactly. To find someone because where if you are that type of person that has a friend or has those good girlfriends and those quality relationships, I think sometimes we can take for granted that there's mm-hmm. that everybody has that and exactly. everybody doesn't have that. Exactly. And and it's just somewhat just wanting somewhat for all of us to have that safe haven because we have things that go on that only other women would understand, whether you're a single mom, whether you've been married for 10 years, whether you are, you know, newly divorced, whatever it may be, at some point in time, all of us can relate to one another, you know. So for me, it's saying, Today I may not know, I mean, because the group's grown over the last, and, and this, of course, an add things where you can add under, other individuals. And my whole thought process, you know, in posting is just saying, if you feel that you know anyone that is representing what we stand for, you know, some people don't like the, the constant ad, but I guess my con, my thought process is, so yeah, I may add you, you may not like it. Okay, you, you hopefully you'll just un, you know, unadd yourself. You know, it's not mm-hmm. to be taken as though we're making you a part of this. We want it to be a group to where you want to be a part of this. Because I've looked at it as more than just a Facebook page. For me, over these last couple of months and going forward, it is actually becoming a way of my life. It's kind of, I wake up in the morning thinking about, you know, she hustles. I, I wake up thinking about, you know, the Facebook page and what can my part be today to encourage my fellow sister, regarding, regardless of whether hell is, you know, breaking loose in my own personal life. I look at it as though you take care of others, God will take care of you. That's my whole thought process. And, you know, sometimes it doesn't always work as quickly as I would like. True. But I want this just to be a place to, where we make it a part of our everyday life. It's second nature to just go ahead and get up and say a prayer of covering for one another. Or, you know, it's yeah. second nature for us to just throughout the day, just a random sister that pop, you know, pops in our minds that we send her a quick message and say, hoping you're having a good day. Because sometimes that's all it takes to keep, give that person that second wind. And if we can yeah. learn to do that by force of habit, we could kind of change the way society views us as women because we are viewed as being catty. We are viewed as being jealous natured and, you know, wanting to car each other's eyes out. And I want to kind of do my part, you know, in erasing that stigma that has been placed on us. And it just starts with one group, one person, one voice. And, you know, those that are meant to come on board will and those that are not won't. And, you know, we don't have to take it personally because everybody does not want the ride. But those that are supposed to get whatever it is, They'll find it, and, you know, exactly. we'll just keep it going. Exactly. Now tell us the um, the Facebook um, URL so people can go and, and add themselves to the Facebook page. Awesome. Um, actually, the name of the group is the Hustlers in Heal Society, um, and actually it's by, you know, request. So once you kind of go to the find the page and you request to be um, added to it, um, anybody can actually add anyone to the page. So it's not um, necessarily just totally controlled by me. I can make the main changes to it, um, but if someone else wants to add a girlfriend or feels like their mom will really kind of get something out of the motivation that we do every day, um, you're more than welcome um, to go and add someone if you choose to or just make a request to join and you know um, we don't want it to be anything to where we kind of just look over your page you know make sure there's nothing that you don't personally have anything vulgar on your page or no nudity or anything like that so it's not a formal code but we do know what we want to represent and we hope that everybody adheres to that okay and then one of the things that I saw on your page um, that I really liked it kind of hit home for me was that um, you try to focus on helping females find a balance between family, career, mm-hmm. and their personal lives, which yes. is so good because that is one of the things that whenever I'm doing an interview for Women in Shoes Mag, if mm-hmm. I'm doing an interview especially with um, a female entrepreneur, mm-hmm. that is one of the questions that I ask because I think a lot of us, well, I know, a lot of us struggle with, how to find that balance between possibly, you know, like your home life, your relationships, um, the, all the different hats that we wear, like mm-hmm. as far as the career and not exactly. feeling guilty about being able how to 
how to juggle all of those. So how do you do that personally for yourself? First and foremost with prayer. <laughs> but if, honestly, yes. some days that is solely what gets me through because some days I don't know if I'm coming or going um, because I am a mom, because I am a wife, you know, because I am an HR professional, so I work nine to five. Um, because, you know, I've just started, you know, the, the She Hustles clothing line, and then we still have the Hustlers and Hills Facebook page. And also my other Facebook page is a Posh Chick event, so I also do event planning. So it does become overwhelming. It, it really does. And some days I'm just like, Lord, what did I get myself into? But it, he always brings me back to the remembrance that I'll never give you any more than you can handle. So that's the time that I have to kind of stop and say, okay, Lord, you got me because I really, really don't know what I'm doing today or I have, I was out of wind two hours ago. But, you know, you kind of just muster it up. And, but you have to learn how to say, you know what, today I'm not going to do anything. And it is challenging. You know, some days I do feel guilty because I don't get to talk to my husband or, you know, I don't get to put my little girl to sleep because she falls asleep before I'm done. It does become overwhelming, but I guess the thing that helps me to not feel as guilty probably as I normally would, is that I know that everything that I'm doing, I'm doing it for the betterment of all of us. So it's kind of like that sacrifice that you have to make, you know, sacrifice now so I can truly spend the quality time and take the family trips and do all this stuff maybe six months from now or a year from now. But it is a sacrifice. But I, I do believe that if, you know, God's given me the vision that, you know, he will make a way and provide and guide and, you know, all of his, everything will work itself out. Now, do you have any plans to um, take your concept and your brand beyond Facebook and maybe um, do any, like, roundtable discussions or do any speaking engagements um, in person? I would love to. Um, I've actually um, gotten with a couple of um, girlfriends within the group. Um, some of them are um, high school classmates. Some are um, young ladies that I've met um, through the page. And they're kind of like um, what we like to say, the, the ambassadors, so to speak. Um, they're ones that just through over the couple of months that I've developed you know, a genuine, strong relationship with. And a lot of them, I know them personally, so I know their character. I know a lot of what their beliefs are and, you know, their career women as well. And we just want to kind of have going into 2016 a, a better outline of the page itself because the last couple of months have just been kind of, you know, we've been kind of winging it and kind of whatever kind of have has been given to us. But now we want to have more of an order to where we are really doing that team building to where we may go out to dinner um, once a month. I may go to a movie night or a wine tasting or, or whatever the case may be. And we understand that it's so far spread. We've got 700 people. And, of course, all of us are not going to be able to meet at the same time. But for those of us that are in the same general areas, that we can kind of not somewhat develop chapters or um, yeah. different groups all over to where it doesn't just – start and stop with me. It's like, okay, I trust you in your area. Okay, you start something this way. Okay, you're in D.C. Okay, you start something this way. So I really truly hope that the page, the Hustlers and Heal Society, really does take on um, just a, a mind and a, and a spirit of its own and, you know, whatever God it's meaning that to happen. That would totally be awesome for, the, for them, you know, to be able to have different chapters. Definitely. For, um, and I don't want people to feel as though it's just for heels. I mean, you know, you can hustle in your loafers. You can hustle, hustle <laughs> in your flops. You can, you know, sometimes I hustle around the house in my bedroom shoes. It all depends. So, I mean, when I, I don't want people to misunderstand that if you're not someone that's a corporate exec or you don't wear heels every day that you can't be a part. It's more so I want people to focus on the, the hustle and the grind and the work hard, go-getter side of it. The the heels are just something a little bit extra, just because we as women we love you know we love stuff like that. But that. you know it's just whatever your hustle is. I don't want anyone to feel like they're not worthy enough to be a part of. You know, as long as you know your hustle, whether your hustle is to finish college or your hustle is to graduate high school, you know whatever the hustle is, just just do your best at it because right. in doing that you will go to whatever the next level of your life your life will be. So, you know, I'm just excited about it. Well, give us your, um, before we wrap, go ahead and give us all of your social media, your website, um, and any contact information and email um, information that you may have so people can get in contact with you. 
Awesome. Well, actually, the She Hustles clothing line will officially debut in January of 2016. We actually have a launch that's scheduled for January the 30th here in my hometown, South Carolina, in Bennettsville. And um, actually, the She Hustles page um, on Facebook is at facebook.com forward slash the Pretty Hustle Movement. Um, and that's actually the page itself. Um, if you'd like to be a part of our Hustlers and Heal Society page. Um, just look us up on Facebook. You know, you know, request to be a part of the page, and you know, we would gladly love to have you. And just come with a positive mind, uh, open spirit, and just be, you know, ready to fellowship and, and network, and you know, just kind of put your fe- pedal to the metal for 2016. And also, you, I can be reached at an email address of thehustlechick at gmail dot com. And the telephone number that I could be reached is 843-862-4607. So I would just love to speak with everyone. And we have the initial T-shirt designs um, on both pages. Um, Right now there are four four designs, but at the show it will not only be my launch for my brand, but also we will have the Chatty Chick. We will also have um, Back to My Roots Clothing, um, the online boutique um, Bella Donna Prima Donna, um, so there will be various other designers that will be there as well. It's not only for my brand to come up, but for us to continue um, to bond with other brands and network and um, kind of just get ourselves to the forefront of what we do as women. Well, of course, we love everything that you're doing, and we totally support you here for Women in Shoes, Mag, and we thank you tonight, Sharika, for joining us. Thank you um, for having me. And much success coming for you for 2016. I received that. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.